Hello, dear student. How are you doing? You've been missed. I hope you are all safe and studying all the videos we are sending. So today we are going to continue our grammar lessons and we are going to start with the adjectives. So before we start, let's do a small recap about all the parts of speech we took before. So first we took the noun. A noun could be a proper noun or a common noun. So basically when a word talks about a person, place, thing or idea, it is a common noun. A proper noun is, for example, like Muhammad or Jidda or um, any name that we call people or places or things. For example, Darjana. So, this is the noun. The verb is the word that tells about an action. So if I say Muhammad goes to school every day. So what does Muhammad do? Muhammad goes to school. So goes is a verb because it is telling us the action that Muhammad is doing. We took also the subject pronoun. The subject pronoun is a word that replaces the noun that comes before the verb. So the noun that comes before the verb is the noun that does the verb. Therefore, it's the subject. This is why the pronoun that could replace this word, which is the subject, we, say, we call it subject pronoun. So, for example, Sarah likes to draw. She does it every day. So instead of saying Sarah likes to draw, Sarah does it every day, we replace the second Sarah with a, a subject pronoun, which is she. So we can say that for each kind of noun, there is a uh, subject pronoun specified to it. Why? Because if I am talking about a girl, I cannot use he because he is for the boy. So I cannot say he likes to draw, she likes to draw. Object pronoun also, we took it previously, is the word that replaces the noun that follows the verb. And we agreed that the noun that follows the verb is the noun that the action is done upon. So, for example, I gave Sarah a gift. So, who did I give the gift for? I gave it to Sarah. So, the Sarah is the one receiving my action, receiving the verb. Therefore, we say it's an object. And when I want to replace it with a correspondent uh, pronoun, it should be one of the object pronouns. So, I gave her a gift. And of course, it also depends on the uh, genre and if it's masculine, uh, if it's singular or plural. So, now we are going to continue with the adjectives. What is an adjective, first of all? The adjective is a word which describes something. So when I say something, I'm saying place, thing, idea, or person. So I'm talking about a noun. So an adjective always is the word that describes a certain noun. What does it describe specifically? It can describe how it looks like how it feels like, how it smells like, how it tastes like, or how it sounds like. So, for example, how does it look like? Um, let's say a football. How does a football look like? It's rounded. Rounded and black and white. So, I'm describing the appearance, the look. These words that are used, rounded, black, and white, are adjectives. How does it feel like? Um, 
How does it uh, how does an apple feel like? It feels soft. So when I touch an apple, I feel like it's soft. How does it smell like? For example, the coconut smells nice. So I'm describing the smell. The word I used is nice, so nice is an adjective. How does it taste like? So, for example, this cupcake is very delicious. Delicious describes how the cupcake tastes like. So, delicious is also an adjective. Sounds like, for example, this car is very loud. Loud is the word that describes to us how the car sounds like. So, loud is also an adjective. We are going to make a small practice. What words could you use to describe this picture? So, here we have the picture of a penguin. What can we say about it? We can say... It's cute, cuddly, like you wish to cuddle it, feathery, it has feathers. So, cute, it's how it looks like, cuddly and feathery, it's how it feels like. Small, so here, are, here we are also talking about the size, when we talk about the size, we are also talking about the way it looks. White. White is a color. So white is also an adjective that describes how it looks like. And fluffy, how it feels like. What other words can you think of? What can we say also about it? We can say... Um... I don't know who you say. Good. Very good. We can say that it is a baby penguin. What words could you use to describe this picture? We can say that this wolf looks big how also brown okay how does it feel scary it makes us feel scary but how does it sound like Holding, excellent. And how does it feel like? Dangerous also, good. What other words can we think of considering this wolf? We can say strong. Yes, very good. Okay, what about this apple? We can say this apple looks red, looks, tastes crunchy, tastes juicy, looks or feels smooth, tastes tasty, and healthy. What other words can we think of? We can say it's a big apple. What words could you use to describe this picture? So here we have a slice of cheese. What can we say about it? How can we describe it? We can say it looks yellow. It, it looks... Aha! Uh -huh. It tastes tasty. Very good. It feels rubbery. It looks 
holy because it has holes it smells smelly it has a certain smell and it feels hard what other words can we think of yummy good okay what words could you use to describe this picture what can we say about this girl we could say she is cute smiling she is blonde she has blonde hair she looks happy she feels friendly and funny so all these words we are using to describe this girl are called adjective what words could you use to describe this picture so we have this mister here is full of colors so we can say he's colorful we can say he's silly because he's doing silly things with his hands we can say he is funny because he's wearing like lots of hats and amusing he's making us laugh daft and comical what other words can we use you think of it now what can we use about this star we can say it's shining smiling the color is yellow it's glowing it feels happy and funny good what are the words you can use to describe this picture so what kind of thing is this alien he looks green odd what does odd mean it means strange like we don't know what it is exactly it's not, it's something unusual to see we can say it's spotty it has lots of spots strange and funny what other words can you think of we can say it looks friendly, like look, there's a small smile here. What words could you use to describe this picture? Wet, because there's water. Spotty, because the pool has spots. Silly, because the kid looks like he's really enjoying his time. Colorful because we have many colors sunny he's wearing a hat and funny because he looks like he's enjoying his time now we have to write three words for each now each of these let's start with the fish we can say first it's buffy the color is blue and it has spikes so it is spiky very good what about the orange the orange is rounded excellent it has pores holes and the color is orange excellent what about the donuts the donuts look rounded they are delicious to eat and they are golden fried okay what about the frog the frog looks funny it's a green it's a spotty very good what about this baby He looks sad, he's crying, he looks so tiny, nice. And what if a baby cries all the time? We say he is annoying, very good. What about this pencil? It's a small pencil, it's sharp, 
and its color is red. Excellent. Good job, kids. Remember to wash your hands and stay safe.